Hello friends, I am Nayesh Sheikh from blogtoot.com and welcome to a very special video. Now today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a website that can earn you thousands of dollars per month. Today in this video, we'll see how to make an Amazon affiliate website. Now this website is a money making machine. People earn thousands of dollars per month with this kind of website. Now for those of you who don't know what an affiliate marketing is, uh, it's a very simple concept. Let me explain you this. So what we'll be doing is we'll be creating an e-commerce website. You can see on your screen, this is the website that we'll be creating in this video. Now, if you see over here, when you scroll down, you have some products over here. Okay, some different products. We have some bags, shirts. Let's open a product and let's see what we have over here. Now, if you see over here, we have this bag. You can see these beautiful images, all these titles, subtitle, uh, usually dis uh, dispatched within 24 hours. We have the short description, the price, the long description as you can see over here. So what is happening over here is, is this, this product is not even our own product. Okay. We, neither I manufacture nor I supply these products. What I have done is I have installed or I have simply imported this product from Amazon and you don't have to do anything manually. Everything is done automatically. You just click on one simple button and thousands of products. If you want, obviously thousands of products. If you want only single product, you can import any product from Amazon with one single click and it will import everything, images, price, description, short description, variations and everything completely. You don't have to do anything at all. But if you want to do some changes, obviously you can do. For example, if you want to change the name of the product, you can do so. You can change the price, description, images and so on. Okay, so this is what happens. Now, when someone comes to our website, they purchase this bag. What happens is they will do checkout on Amazon. And when they do the checkout and Amazon, Amazon will give you a uh, 10% or 12%, whatever the commission rate is, uh, commission on this product. Okay. So for, for example, a person has purchased hundred dollars product from our website. Now what happens is Amazon, if the commission rate is 10%, Amazon will give you $10 for that. You don't have to do anything. The, uh, the order will be placed on Amazon. The, this, the order will be supplied by Amazon. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Everything will be done by Amazon. You simply import products on your website and, uh, the person comes to your website, they make a purchase. The order goes to Amazon. Amazon dispatches the product to the customer. So you don't have to do anything. So this is a very good business model to start with. You can earn really a good amount of money from this kind of website. Now I hope uh, it is clear what Amazon affiliate website is. Now let's see the demo website that we'll be creating in this video. Okay guys, so this is the website that we'll be creating in this video. And for the design of the website, I have taken inspiration from the top e-commerce websites like Amazon, Flipkart, AliExpress, etc. And most of the time, uh, what I have tried over here is I have tried to keep the cost as minimum as possible. Instead of using a $60, $70 premium theme, I have used a free theme. I have used free plugins. Most of the plugins are free, a free page builder. Most of the things that you will see over here are free. But in, in spite of using the free things, we have not compromised with the design of the website. Design is top notch. We have the best quality uh, design that you'll see. Okay. So we have used most of the thing as free resources. Okay. Now there is a plugin that we have used, which is a premium plugin, which is Zone. I'll show you how you can get that and how you can integrate it with your website. Okay. So let's see the demo website that we'll be creating. So this is the website, which you see on your screen. At the top, we have this header and here at the header at the left hand side, we have our beautiful logo. You can replace this, uh, replace it and put in your own logo. Then we have the nav bar, the navigation bar over here. And I, I will also show you how you can create this mega menu. So this is a great thing. You are using a free theme, but you can create mega menus and everything that you want. Then we also have this button. Okay. So you can convert anything into a button over here at the, uh, at the header. Then we have the cart icon. When you hover over the cart icon, you will see what product do you have in your cart. You can view your cart. You can do the checkout and so on. You can search for products over here. Then we have the first section, which you see, this is a hero section. The top section, we have some title, subtitles, some sale going on. 
and we have a call to action button. So suppose there is some sale going on, you can redirect this button to some category, some specific product or specific, a specific page if you want. Then we have a beautiful image in the background. Then after that we have this text or this section free shipping for orders over $100. Obviously you can change the text, you can change the message according to your needs. Then we have the categories that we sell on our website, news design trends, we have jackets, bags, then sunglasses and shirts. Obviously you can put in your own categories, your own images over here. Now I have used a very beautiful animation as you can see when I hover this category, the image shifts towards uh, the right and the title comes uh, at the top. So this is a very beautiful design. Then we have this section again, again a very beautiful section. We have some mess messages showing up over here with some beautiful icons and colors. The first one is free shipping. So we have free shipping, then guarantee service, 100% money back guarantee. Then we have product offers. So you can change the icon, you can change the message. Everything is very easy. Making any change in this video is very, in this website is very, very easy. It's all simple visual thing. Okay, you don't have to do any coding, anything at all. It's all simple visual thing. And uh, as I've said you earlier, importing products is also very easy from Amazon. You simply have to click on one single button and everything will be done automatically. Okay, so no worries, okay. Then we have our recently added products over so here. We'll see how a single product looks like after this homepage. Now, when you scroll down, we have our brands. You can have your brands that you want, uh, that you sell on your website or whatever you want. Okay. So what I basically, uh, that would be a better thing to showcase all the brands that you sell on your website. Then we have the post post are also very useful in, uh, affiliate websites. So we'll see a little bit about post as well. Then at the bottom, we have the footer, which is divided into four different sections. We have the contact information, recent post. Obviously you can add recent products, anything over here in the footer. I have added these things. Then we have some few quick links. Then we have some social icons. Now at the bottom footer, oh, I think you cannot see this, but at the bottom footer, we have the copyright text. Now, when you click on this button, it will redirect you to the top of the page. Okay. Now let's see how a single product looks like. So this is how your single product would look like. We have the title over here, the breadcrumbs. Okay. You can see under products, we have uh, some category, then we have this product. Okay. Then this is the product page. There are many different designs that you can choose for product page. For example, this is using the left sidebar. If you want, you can simply remove the sidebar and you will have your product page full width. Okay. So you can do that as well. Now at the left hand side, you'll see if we have few options like followers, product categories and at, at present this one is selected because this uh, product comes under handbags. Then after that we have the top rated products. As you can see, these are the top rated products. Then at the right hand side, we have the actual product. Uh, when you hover this product, it gets zoomed in, but because this image is quite small, uh, we cannot see this effect. But when you, but when you normally hover a product, you can see the image gets zoomed in. Then we have the title over here, the price, there is some sale going on. That's why the original price is striked out. As you can see, 27.99 is striked out and we have this sale price. Now here it says as of July 10, 2018 and this time, obviously if you want, you can, uh, in fact, I would recommend to remove this text. I'll show you in the tutorial later on in this tutorial, how you can remove this te uh, text from here. Okay. Then we have this short description, which you see over here. It says usually dispatched within 24 hours. Then if you want, you can, uh, then we have the add to card category, add to wish list. Then we have the categories that this product belongs to. Then we can also, it's all up to you. This thing is optional. If you want, you can showcase this. If you want to sell in specific countries, this is good. Okay. So this product is available in India. As you can see, the flag over here sh uh, shows that. Then after that, we have this, uh, uh, this tab. So here description and all these things, this is the long description and everything is imported directly from Amazon. You don't have to type a single uh, text over here. Then we have the frequently bought together products. This is also imported from Amazon. So the person can uh, select this or they can simply untake this and they can add all these products to cart and they can do a checkout. Okay. So it's all up to them. Then we have Amazon customer review. You can showcase the reviews of Amazon on your website. 
this is totally optional if you want you can simply remove this tab then we have some additional information for example brand name color you can have some reviews over here and then at the bottom we have the related products uh, at present it is showing only one product this can show up to four or five products i think it okay so this is how your product page looks like single product page now let's see how the shop page looks like okay guys so this is how our shop page looks like very much similar we have the title uh, the subtitle over here then the breadcrumbs at the left hand side we have almost the same sidebar we just have this one extra thing which is filter by price okay uh, so this is the sidebar filter by price followers product categories top rated products and so on then here at the left right hand side we have all the products that are shown okay you can see when you hover this the image changes okay so this is all these things and you have many options if you want you can remove the add to cart button over here you can simply display the uh, uh, the image or you can simply display the price you can uh, you know do a lot of customization option now now if i say something obviously you will not understand what i'm saying what do i mean by removing this button or adding some extra text or so on when we get into the tutorial when we start creating this website you will understand everything into much detail okay so this is your shop page let's see what we have next then after that we have the wishlist page as you can see we have three different products in our wishlist you can add to cart one product is out of stock so you can see the stock status then two products are in stock we can add to cart we can do checkout and so on we can also apply coupons if we want so we'll see how to create coupons okay then after that we have the my account page the user will have this my account page they can see their dashboard they can see their orders now no order has been made yet but if there is some order they can see the order they can track the order if uh, there is some downloadable products they can see those over here they can change the address and all those things from your billing address shipping address now no address has been set up yet because we haven't done anything with this website yet they can see the wish list they can change their account details their phone number cell number or name and all those things then after this we have the cart page this is our cart page as you can see we have one product in the cart okay so uh, the, you can see the product over here you can update uh, the cart you can simply click on proceed to checkout and it will redirect you to amazon to the uh, to do the checkout thing okay so this is basically the demo website and i hope everything is clear what is amazon affiliate website uh, if it if it is still not clear don't worry you can simply uh, continue watching this tutorial and you will understand everything slowly and gradually and your you know knowledge on affiliate marketing using amazon will be much clear okay so i hope you guys enjoy the demo website i hope you liked it i hope you like the concept and you if you guys are really excited to make this kind of website then stay tuned okay guys so let's start creating this website if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then make sure you do so give a thumbs up to this video if you think this is cool if you enjoy free stuff then make sure you give a thumbs up to this video if you think this is helpful then uh, you can share this video with your friends on facebook twitter wherever you want and if you have any doubt any queries any suggestions for me in uh, throughout the video whenever wherever you have any doubt wherever you get stuck you can simply leave in the comment section below that what your pro what your what is the problem that you're facing and so on okay i'll try my best to get to you and solve your problem okay now to create this website in fact to create any kind of website we need two basic things a domain name and a hosting account a domain name is basically the web address or the url or name of your website for example google.com is a domain name youtube.com facebook.com all these things are different domain names the address of your website okay so you will have to purchase an address for your website if you already have one that's good if you don't have i'll show you how you can get it for free with the hosting okay and then the next thing that we need is hosting and hosting is these two things are compulsory domain name and hosting without these two you just cannot proceed further now you know what is a domain name is a web address the second thing is hosting hosting is a place or a thing wherein all your website data is saved for example if you see these images all these different pages all these products every data that you see on your website is saved somewhere okay it's saved it's saved in a computer or in a hard drive 
that is running 24 7 so that whenever someone comes to your website they can see your website live okay whenever you go to facebook you see live facebook okay uh, because it is running 24 7 whatever time you go day and night you will see the website you'll see all the data you'll see everything okay so that is basically what a hosting is everything all your website data is saved and uh, at that place now if you have a domain but you don't have a hosting then what happens is when someone goes to your website they'll see a blank page because you don't have hosting no there is no data on your website okay so both these things are compulsory now i'll show you how you can get both this thing because there are many different options that you can get there are many different companies that provide hosting and domain but i'll show you what is the best uh, plan for you what is the best company for you according to your needs for e-commerce websites specifically uh, the website that we are creating these kind of website require different kind of hosting, not the regular hosting, okay? So I'll show you what is the best hosting at the minimum price that you can get, okay? So what you can do, you can open a new tab and type in blogtoot.com slash TMD. Now you don't even have to type in this thing. There will be a link given in the video description below. You can simply click on that link and you will be redirected to this page. Now this is the cloud hosting page. If you see over here, it says cloud hosting. Let's scroll down. If you see that three different plans over here, starter cloud, business cloud, enterprise cloud. Now this is a cloud hosting, not a shared hosting. Most of the, most of the times, whenever someone re redirects you to some hosting plan, well, you'll see mostly it is the shared hosting. Now for e-commerce website, shared hosting is not recommended. You should have a cloud hosting, but if you want, you can go for web hosting, shared hosting. If you want shared hosting, you can open this web hosting link in a new tab and you'll get those shared hosting options okay if you see there's some price difference over here the share hosting starts as at 295 dollars per month and cloud hosting starts at 595 dollars per month okay so because there is a lot of difference between all these things if you want if you if you have a very small budget you can start with shared hosting starter plan or business plan whatever you like or if you if you are really willing to do some investment to earn some real money then you can go with starter cloud okay the cloud options so it's all up to you you can start with uh, any option you want if your budget is very small you have almost no money you can go with web hosting the shared hosting or if you are ready to do some investment in this new business you can go with cloud hosting okay so you have both the options now I am using the cloud hosting package. So that's why in this uh, video, I'll show you how you can go with this process, cloud hosting process, okay? So as I said you earlier, we have three different plans over here, starter cloud, business cloud, and enterprise cloud. Now let's see what are the different features that this uh, uh, hosting company provides and why do I recommend this? Because there are many different companies that I can recommend you why only this because this is this has something special let's see what is that thing special okay so first if you see the first two features are very crucial it says six CP, uh, six core cpu and six gb of ddr4 ram now a few moments ago i sh uh, i told you that a hosting is a place or a computer or a hard drive which is running 24 7 it has all your web uh, website uh, data stored so the computer which these guys are using is a really strong and robust computer it is using a six core cpu and six gb of ddr4 ram so that is really great really fast and super awesome computer then we have unlimited bandwidth which means that you can transfer uh, uh, unlimited amount of data from your website you can upload unlimited amount of data you can download unlimited amount of data from your website then the most important feature if you, over here is ssd space now there are two kind of hosting ssd and hdd now ssd is way more faster than the regular hdd plans if you want to uh, see the difference you can go to google type in ssd versus hdd web hosting You'll see all these different articles, you can read them, you'll understand about these different things uh, in much detail. Or what you can do, you can go to images like what I do normally and you can open the first result that you see over here. Now as you can see there are three different criteria over here, speed, IOPS and latency. This orange bar is HDD, this green bar is SSD. Now first one is speed, at the bottom it says higher is better. 
Now you can see SSD is way more higher than the regular HDD. Then the second one is IOPS. Again, it says higher is better and you can see the difference is around 100 times. Okay. So in IOPS, SSD is 100 times better than the regular HDD. Then the latency again, it says lower is better and you can see the difference is 100 times. So, you know, you get the idea SSD is way more faster, better in terms of performance uh, than the regular HDD. Now, not only that you get SSD, you have unlimited SSD space. So that is another amazing feature. Now, another feature is unlimited website hosted, which means that you can host unlimited amount of website in one single hosting plan. So you don't have to purchase a new hosting plan every time you create a new website. Okay. So suppose today we are creating this website tomorrow. You might need to create some other website, maybe another website for your business or a blog or something. So you don't have to purchase hosting again. You can host all those websites, unlimited number of websites in one single hosting plan, which is really cool. Now you also get a free domain premium support. This support is really good. As you can see, we have the live chat option over here. You can call them, you can email them. The support is really, really good. Then we get a free cPanel NG INX web server. Then we have SSL. In fact, we have wildcard SSL. First of all, let's see what an SSL is. Now, if you see the demo website, we have the secure socket over here. This is what the SSL certificate is. Now earlier, what I used to say is SSL is compulsory for e-commerce, but today uh, from this July 2018, 2018 SSL is compulsory for any website. Okay. Now what Google has done is what if your website doesn't have this SSL certificate, Google will say that, or this Chrome browser will say that this website is not secure. So whenever someone goes to your website, it will say, you know what, this website is not secure. You should not enter your credit card, debit card details or your phone number, any crucial information over here. So that is a very bad thing for your website. Now from July onwards, 2018 SSL certificate is compulsory for your website. Now here we have wildcard SSL, which means that you can install SSL certificates on unlimited number of domains and subdomains. Then we have optimum cache. This will uh, improve the performance of your website, make it much faster and much easier. Then we have memory cache instance of 256 MB. Again, it will improve the performance and speed of your website. Then you see the performance is three times better than these two plans. And we have 60 day money back guarantee. Okay. So we have all these features. There are three different plans, starter, business and enterprise cloud. If you're creating a website for the first time and you're very much sure that you're going to create only one website uh, at least for five, six months from now and you don't need another website, then you can go with starter cloud. Because if you see over here, you can here in this starter cloud, you can host only one website. Now, suppose tomorrow if you want to create another website, what you can do, you can uh, ask TMD to upgrade your account and they will upgrade your account to business cloud or enterprise cloud, whatever you request, and you can create your next website. Okay. So you can start with starter cloud. If you want, if you are ready to create just one website. And if you know that I'm not going to require another website for a few months from now, then you can use this starter cloud. Or if you are sure that you have to create many different uh, websites, then you can choose business cloud or enterprise cloud both are really good option. Now I am using the enterprise cloud. So I'll click on this button, which says get started. Now, when you do so, you will see this screen. Now here you have to enter the domain name, which you want for free. Okay. Domain name, which you want for free. So you can type in your domain name over here. You can select the extension. If you want .com, .net, .org. If you're creating this website for country specific, then you can uh, select a country specific domain extension like .ca for Canada, .asia, .com, .in, not .com, .in for India, .uk for United Kingdom and so on. Okay. But for most of you guys, I would recommend you to stick with .com. So once you select your domain name and your extension, simply click on proceed. All right. Now here you have to put in some basic information about your company, like your first name, last name, your email address, phone number. Okay. Uh, your state, country, zip code, all these things. Then you have to enter the payment information. If you want to make payment through credit card, debit card, 
you can enter your details over here if you want to make payment through paypal you can select paypal and pay through paypal now i would recommend you to pay with credit card or debit card okay that is much better option then we have some more options over here okay first of all you have to choose the data center location now the one you have to choose the one which says nearest to you for example here singapore says nearest to you so i'm selecting this one period is by default 12 months i also recommend 12 months it never select one month period because you have to pay seven dollars extra per month so that is not recommended i would recommend you to select 12 months from here then uh, by default domain privacy is tick mark you can uh, leave it tick mark it will cost you around ten dollars extra per year but i think it is worth it it will uh, protect your identity from anyone okay if you don't have this tick mark anyone can see who who is the person who has registered this website so i would recommend you to just tick mark this thing okay then at the bottom we have a very important option which is promo code now here you have to enter near 7 n a w y a r and numeric 7 after you do so click on apply now as you can see it says this promo code gives you 7% of this purchase and 7% is the highest discount that TMD offers on cloud hosting. So you're getting the highest discount possible. So that is a great thing. Once you're done with all these steps, simply click on over here. I agree to the TMD terms of service and click on checkout. Now, once you click on that checkout button, you will receive an email from TMD hosting. Now, this email would look something like this. So you have your username your FTP C uh, password, you have your server IP, name servers, and all the important information that is required. Okay, so all, all the important information are entered over here. Make sure you save this email uh, somewhere. If you have multiple email addresses, you can forward this to those different email addresses. Okay, that would be better. Now, if you see at the bottom, you have this control panel link. Open this link in a new tab and copy your FTP username and password from here. Come over here, paste it over here, okay? Paste it over here and click on login. Now, once you click on login, you will see your C panel. This is the C panel. Now, what do you have to do? Because we have purchased the hosting and domain, now it's time to uh, upload the website or it's time to install WordPress on that domain, okay? So let's go at the bottom. You'll see under Softaculous app installer, click on this. Now here we have WordPress is the first option. When you hover this, you'll see this option install button. Click on this install button. You will be redirected to this page. Now from the top, make sure HTTPS is selected. Okay, because if you see over here, uh, the it has HTTPS. Okay, so secure socket S. Okay, make sure S is included over here. Then after that, you have to select the domain name on which you want to install WordPress. So I'm selecting the domain name for me. Then after that, you, you have this WP already typed in over here in in directory. Make sure to remove this thing. OK, make sure this uh, uh, this field is empty. Then we have site settings. You can put in your site name and site description. So um, I'll simply put who's on tutorial by Nayash Sheikh. You can put anything obviously, it's all up to you. I'm just putting site name as who's on tutorial and site description as by Nayash Sheikh. Then we have to change the admin and password. Okay, so let me change the admin and password. Now as you can see, my admin uh, username is quite different. Uh, I have a uppercase letter, a capital letter, uh, two capital letters at the beginning. Okay, then few small letters and I also have this underscore. Okay, instead of the space, I have used this underscore. Okay, so make sure you have something, a username, something like this, which has uppercase, lowercase and a few special characters or maybe few numbers if you can include. Okay, then change this password. Let me put in my password over here. Okay, so I'm putting my password. Then after that, make sure you also change the email address. Put in your own email address over here. Go at the bottom and click on install. Okay, so WordPress is getting installed on your website. It will take few seconds. You can just simply wait. As I said, it has taken few seconds. Now we get two different links. First one is you simply your website link. Uh, that is your website. Let's open that in a new tab. 
okay so this is how our website looks at present we have this beautiful SSL certificate at the top now the second link is the dashboard link okay let's open this in a new tab so this is the dashboard link okay the control panel link from where we will be controlling everything that happens on our website okay so this is the page from where you can create products you can create posts you can create pages you can create everything you can change the style you can do everything so whenever you want to come to want, want to come to this page your control panel page you simply type in your username or your url address then type in forward slash wp hyphen admin all right so we have seen this is how our product uh, how our website is looking this is how uh, this is our dashboard now at the left hand side you'll see a few options don't worry i'll explain you all the options we'll use almost all the options that you see over here okay so the first let's do one thing let's click on appearances now if you see over here three different themes are already installed now for the for those of you guys who are seeing a wordpress tutorial for the first time a theme is nothing but the design of the website okay for example by default we are using the 2017 theme and as you can see we have this snapshot over here this is how the website will look like and exactly that is how the website is looking over here okay now if you use this theme 2015 uh, this is how your website will look you can see the snapshot the screenshot okay so we, you can change it now we don't need all these themes these are really boring themes so we can simply delete it and we'll use a very useful very cool theme which is a free theme that is a great thing okay so if you want to add a new theme if you want to change the style and design of your website simply click on this add new button now here let's you will see there are thousands and thousands of free themes available over here you can install and activate any one you want okay now the one that we want is called ocean wp so let's type in ocean wp in the search bar okay so this is the plug uh, this is the theme simply click on this install button it will install this theme on your website now let's activate this theme so click on activate button okay so once you install and activate the theme let's come back to our website let's refresh it now as you can see the design is totally changed and now after some time we will convert this website this boring website into something amazing like this okay we'll change the design completely now again come back over here if you see we have one notice which says that this theme recommends these plugins and all these plugins are free so let's install all these plugins and by the way a plugin is a way to extend the functionality of your website okay for those of you guys who don't know okay so you use different plugins for different functionalities for example let me give you a very perfect example which is woocommerce now by default wordpress is not meant for uh, e-commerce websites okay by the default wordpress cannot create any product you cannot uh, do all those options okay if you want to convert your website into an e-commerce website you use a plugin to add the fun all the functionalities and features of an e-commerce website okay so that is what a plugin is it it will add and expand the functionality of your website so we have three different plugins over here we have elementor which is a free and best page builder we have ocean demo export uh, export and ocean extra so let's click on this begin installing plugins link okay so all these plugins are here you can uh, install one by one but what we'll do is we'll tick mark over here it will select everything and from the bulk action we will select install and click on apply okay as you can see all the plugins are installed let's click on return to dashboard okay so all our plugins are installed and activated now we need few more plugins free plugins to uh, to add some more features to our website so what you can do you can hover plugins from the left hand side and click on add new to add new plugins now the first plugin that we need is obviously WooCommerce okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, type in WooCommerce over here okay just simply type WooCommerce okay so this is uh, WooCommerce by automatic you can see it has more than 1 million active installation so more than 1 million websites are using WooCommerce uh, you know at present so let's click on install now let's activate this plugin Alright guys, now once you activate this plugin, you will see few 
notices over here so what we'll do is we'll see all these notices later on first we'll have to install few more plugins so what we can do is we can simply again click on add new okay the next plugin that we need is elementor essential add-ons I'll give all these plugin names in the video description below. You can see those. Okay. This is the one Elementor Essential Add-ons by CodeTick. You can install this one. Okay. Now don't click on this activate button. We can activate all the plugins at once. First, let's install all the plugins. Then the next plugin that we require is premium add-ons for Elementor. This is the one by leap 13 install it then after that again don't click on activate simply uh, type in the next plugin which is elementor add-ons and templates by cz light okay whatever it is by themile okay you can see this one click on install now okay and the last plugin that we require is custom sidebar by wpmu dev okay you can see wpmu dev this is the plugin click on install now now if you see at the top it says we need two more plugins WooCommerce variation switches and WooCommerce wishlist. So let's get these plugins as well click on this link begin installing plugins. Okay we have two plugins let's so uh, tick mark over here bulk action install click on apply. Okay so both the plugins are installed and activated successfully. Now let's click on plugins from the left hand side. Okay, first what whenever you wherever you click you will see this uh, uh, thing this uh, setup wizard for uh, wishlist button. So you can simply click on let's go not a very important one. Okay, default wishlist name create automatically simply click on continue. Don't need to do any changes click on continue. Okay, not very important simply click on just uh, make uh, keep clicking on those continue. At the last step click on this button return to the WordPress dashboard. Alright now let's click on plugins and we need to activate all the plugins that we have installed and there are two different extra plugins that we don't need which is Akismet anti-spam so we can delete it and the other one is hello dolly you can delete this as well okay. Now as you can see there are few plugins that are not activated so we can tick mark over here from the bulk action we can select activate and click on apply okay so all the plugins are successfully installed and activated now it's time to install the most important plugin for this website which is the woozone plugin now you can open a new tab and type in blog slash woozone now this link is also given in the video description below when you open this link you will be redirected to this page okay now if you see over here we have the few plugins over here this is actually a bundle of few plugins and themes we have woozone plugin we have kingdom theme we have discount finder uh, uh, finder woozone contextual okay so you can uh, install this one okay it's around 70 bucks you can add to cart and purchase this but i have already purchased it so i'll i'll not do that i'll simply cut this thing so once you purchase, let me show what happens. So once you download it from ThemeForest, you will see a file like this. Okay, whatever a zip file, you can extract this file from here. Okay, so once you extract it, you will see a folder like this. Okay, in this folder, you have your theme, you have your uh, plugins and everything. Okay, but this is not the theme that we are going to use. This is a very bad design. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like the design of Kingdom theme. That's really bad. Okay, I'll use the plugin which is over here WooZone Amazon Affiliate Plugin. When you open this thing, you will see a folder plugin and you will see another zip file WooZone. Okay, now this is the file that we have to upload. Now let me do one thing. Let us come over here. But before this, let's see one thing. When you hover media and click on add new, you will see over here it says maximum upload file size is only 2 MB. And if I see over here, the file size of this plugin is 6 MBs, more than 6 MBs. Okay, so here I can upload only 2 MB file maximum and the file which I want to upload is 6 MB. So there is a problem over here, but it has a very simple solution. Let me show you how we can fix that. Open FileZilla and if you don't know how to set up FileZilla, there is a video on my channel. Very easily I have shown how you can set up FileZilla for free. Alright guys, now once you open FileZilla, you will see your website folder over here. For example, if you see my website name is WooZone 
2.nayashik.com okay so i'll have to open that folder let me find that folder here it is woozone2.nayashik.com let us open this folder here you have one a uh, file which says the first file in fact dot ht access now what you have to do is you have to uh, drag this folder on your desktop okay on your website that's uh, on your computer desktop then let us do one thing let us select desktop from here okay so our desktop is selected let's drag this file on our desktop okay let me do it okay so it says transfer finished now if you see on my desktop i have this file let me open this file okay so this is how your file would look like okay now what we have to do we have to paste some simple line of code over here so go to my website in fact this link will also be given in the video description below okay you or if you don't find that link you can go to my website and let me show you that post i think it will be on second third page okay let me show you that uh, here it is the uploaded file size whatever this is the uh, 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 this is the post that you have to open solved the uploaded file size exceeds the max whatever the it is okay you you see this you can open this this will this link will be given in the video description below but by chance if you don't find it you can go uh, you can do it manually okay now here if you go at the bottom you'll see five lines of code so over here five or six lines of code simply copy it from here go to that file paste it over here click on control s to save the file uh, you can cut this thing go to filezilla refresh this section okay now drag this thing dot htaccess and again bring it to your website folder it will ask you to overwrite it so select overwrite and click on ok ok so transfer is finished now now let's come to our website okay earlier it was saying 2 mb maximum upload size let's uh, refresh this page now as you can see it says 64 mb so now we can upload any file up, up to 64 mb okay so again how our plugins and click on add new let's add this plugin now this time we don't have to add a plugin this way we have to upload a file because we have a file so click on upload plugin choose file and uh, let me go to that file woozone 2. say whatever the folder is woozone affiliate uh, amazon affiliate plugin okay this is the file select this file click on open click on install now okay guys so this plugin is successfully installed now let's click on activate plugin okay so once you activate this plugin it should ask you to uh, okay once it will ask you for purchase code now yeah, this is very important you have to uh, in, insert the purchase code you will see the purchase code uh, on you will see this purchase code on theme forest you can find it from there and paste in the purchase code obviously i'll have i have i'll have to hide this code from here you can in uh, just copy and paste the purchase code and click on activate now all right guys so once you do so you will see this setup wizard now let's click on get started now first of all it will ask you what kind of website is this that you're creating is it a blog online store personal website or something else so this is an online store so we'll select online store and click on next then what is the state of the website is it a fresh install or you already have some content so for us it is a fresh install so select fresh install and click on next and what is the purpose of you want to use woozone uh, so we have different options select the first one i already have a website and want to earn some money easy money from affiliation okay so select the first one and click on next all right now we have some more options over here and you can take mark or uh, untick this first one a few options are if you see by default are take mark and few are untick the first one is on site cart now this option will allow your customers to add multiple Amazon products into cart and check out through Amazon system with all at once. So very important. I think it is necessary. So make sure you tick mark this. Now 90 day cookies. If a customer adds a product into your into the Amazon card and it's kept there for 90 days. And if the user continues shopping, you will still get the commission. OK, so very important. Make sure it is tick mark. If you want to show the Amazon reviews tab, which we have seen in the demo website, you can tick mark this or you can simply untick this. 
okay so, so do you want to show the frequently bought together product which you see on amazon frequently bought together let me show you both these options okay let's open this product okay so first of all we have this amazon customer review if you don't want to uh, uh, show this tab you can come over here come over here and untick this reviews tab the second option if you see under description we have frequently bought together products if you don't don't want to show this thing you can untick this cross selling okay it's all up to you now product availability by country box if you're creating this uh, it, it's all up to you if you want you can take mark this or you can simply untick this it's all up to you by the way it will show this thing okay product availability in a country okay so if you want you can untick this not a big deal you want to show uh, coupons then we have checkout email ask the user email address before the checkout process happens now this is not required so make sure this one is unticked okay then remote amazon images this option will display all product Im uh, Am uh, images from amazon cdn so very important we don't want to upload our own images we want to just import the images of the person okay so make sure it is tick mark and if the pro product is free shipping do you want to show that for example if you see over here it says free shipping whenever it is free shipping it will say free shipping over here do you want to display this or not it's all up to you if you want you can simply tick mark this and click on next all right now price setup uh, uh, get price from amazon or all the sellers so you can simply select amazon import product from merchant make sure you select amazon and other sellers okay if you select amazon then you can import only those products which amazon is directly selling for example amazon kindle okay they have their own product amazon is the merchant or the seller of the product but if you want to install some iphone then amazon is not the seller or the owner apple is the owner and seller so you will not be able to imp uh, import that so make sure you select amazon and other sellers now import as publish or draft so whenever you import some product do you want to directly publish them or you want to make uh, go, uh, you know you, you want to send them to draft and after that you can you know check them you can edit them and you can publish them so it's all up to you because this this is for tutorial purposes i'll select publish import product with zero price no we don't want to import that so let it be unticked import attributes now basically an attribute is for example we have iphone 7 or iphone 10 whatever you have okay so iphone 7 has 32 gb 64 gb 128 gb so we we have different variations these are called attribute products okay so obviously we want to import all the attributes so make sure it is tick mark now click on next now number of images you want to import and number of variations in, if you want to import okay if you want to import only three images you can select three over here if you want to import all images you can select all similarly for variation you can import uh, one variation two variation or all the variation okay now click on next and these changes can be uh, changed uh, later on okay i'll show you how you can do how you can change these settings okay click on next now this is the customization option uh, re uh, redirect option whenever the person uh, clicks on that checkout button what happens is they will get a message you will be redirected to amazon to complete your checkout if you want you can change this message okay and type in something else i don't know why would you do that but you can do so if you have some better idea you can do that now redirect them in how many seconds so basically what happens is when they click on that checkout button that message will be there for three seconds okay and after three seconds they will be redirected to amazon if you want to increase or decrease this time you can do that from here okay and buy button buy a button custom text uh, we don't have to do anything over here everything looks fine just click on next all right now we have at the at the last step we have to put in our access key id and secret access key and your affiliate id now if you have a different affiliate id for different countries for example you have account with amazon canada also amazon india also amazon us also you can use all of them at one place and here you have to put in your access id and secret key okay so let me show you how you can get that 
open a new tab go to google and type in amazon associate okay and it will show you the amazon associates of your country i am in india so i'll get this link affiliate program.amazon.in okay if you are from uk you'll see affiliate program.amazon.co.uk or something so click on this link first link now you have to join for free if you have not yet joined the affiliate program of amazon i have already done that okay and that is very easy it takes few seconds or a few minutes it is it does not require a very uh, high knowledge or anything like that it's a simple form you fill in and you are you join the club okay now because i have already joined that i'll click on login i have my username password over here click on login then let's see what happens okay so this is the screen okay as you can see this is the screen you can see uh, the uh, clicks that my link has go got and the fees and all these things okay now what you have to do what we require here is we want the access key id and the secret access key so let me show you how you can get that go over here and how about tools and you will see product advertising api click on this link now click on manage credentials okay now click on sign in or if you are not created any account with aws it will automatically ask you to create one or it will create one for you okay it's very easy simply click on login okay now you can click on over here continue to security credentials and you'll see your access key let me show you you when you see this thing access key you will see i have created many in the past you can see all those things now i can use any one of these i have created some deleted some so let me delete one and let me show you how you can create a new one obviously you will not have any so you'll have to create a new one so if you want to create a new one simply click on this blue button create new access key okay and you can show the key okay you can copy the key from here let me copy it from here paste it over here then we have the uh, secret secret access key copy it from here again paste it over here okay and make sure you download the key okay very important uh, simply click on this button and make sure you download these keys okay very very important once you do so simply close these things now come over here after that we have to uh, put in your affiliate id now if you want to uh, see that again let's come back to this uh, website affiliate program.amazon.in at the top you'll see this store name and you'll have this thing over here copy this from here okay i have this link this is my store name or id copy it from here and paste it under your country for example this is india i am pasting it under india then after that main affiliate id if you have multiple affiliate ids in different amazon uh, websites you can select one of the main so for me i have only one and that is india and that is my main request type make sure it is auto detect and import location where do you want to import the product from do you want to import the product from amazon.com then select this one worldwide if you want to import from amazon.in that is the amazon india you can select india so i am selecting india and you can click on this button check amazon aws keys it will check these keys whether they are correct or not so let's click on this button okay as you can see uh, everything is right okay we can proceed further let's click on finish all right so congratulations you have successfully set up woozone wizard it is that simple and we don't have to do a lot of things over here very very simple simply click on this close okay guys so once you do so you will be redirected to this page so we have a lot of uh, notices over here let's dismiss all these things one by one okay let's click on no thanks dismiss this notice everything okay now we have this plugin setup we have everything which is awesome all right guys now once you do all these things let's do one thing let's simply create few pages for woocommerce we have to create some default pages okay when you click on pages let's see what happens you see there are only three pages one the wishlist page because of that quick setup a sample page which we don't require so you can thrash it you can delete it from your a policy page which is uh, the gdpr thing okay draft page now we have to create few new pages so click on add new first create the shop page so simply type in shop 
Now open a new tab. Let me cancel all these things and type in WooCommerce uh, short code. Okay, short codes. Here it is WooCommerce short codes and open the first link, which is short code included with WooCommerce. Open this link. You'll see few short codes over here. So for shop page. Okay, let's see what is the checkout page, my account page. Okay, first let's create the cart page. So simply select this, uh, uh, copy this uh, short code from here, WooCommerce cart. Come over here and let's first create the cart page. So let's name it cart and let's paste the uh, short code over here. Click on publish and this will add the cart page. Okay, let's click on add new again. And after that we have the checkout page. So let's copy this uh, short code over here from here. And obviously you can see uh, it says you need to install default WooCommerce page and cart page and checkout page. Now this thing will disappear. Now let's click on checkout page. Okay, so this is our checkout page. Let's paste in this short code for checkout. Click on publish. All right. Now after this we have the my account page. So copy this link from here. Click on add new page. Let's name it my account. And let's paste in this short code. Click on publish. Now we have one more short code order tracking, but this is not required over here because uh, we cannot uh, enable person to track order because this, these products are not our products. These are Amazon's product. Okay. So they cannot track order from our website. So we have three pages over here. Let's click on dashboard. Now let's click on pages. Okay. You have the cart page, checkout page, all this page. Let's click on add new page. Let's create a shop page. Don't need to put any checkout or so simply click on publish. Now let's open this product in a new tab. Let's view this page. Now, as you can see, when we view this page, we have this a uh, shop page over here. Okay. No, don't, don't need to create or do anything. Now let's do few, uh, simple WooCommerce settings. So let's click on how let's have our WooCommerce and click on settings. There are very few settings that we need to do over here, not like the regular e-commerce website. There are very few settings that we do. First setting that we have to do is general settings. We have to put in your address. So I'm putting Mumbai everywhere. This is the address where your store or your business is based. Okay. And let me put in the country as India, Maharashtra. Okay. Country and your state name. Now, do you want to sell to all location or a specific country? So I can select sell to specific countries and I can select India. So maybe I want to sell only in India. If you want to sell in multiple countries, you can select more countries from here or you can sell in all the countries. Now I want to ship to all the countries I want to sell to. Okay, which is fine. Enable the use of coupon, calculate coupon discount uh, sequentially not required. Now currency because I'm selling in India and I'm importing products from Amazon.in. I will select I Indian rupee, which is Indian rupee. Here it is. Let me select this. Okay. Click on save changes. All right. Now we don't need to do any changes, I guess. Let's see. Let's click on products. Okay. Here uh, we have the shop page select shop from here. Okay. The page that we have just created. So select the shop page from here. Click on save changes. Okay. Let us, uh, see some more changes now go to shipping uh, shipping is not required now payment account and privacy simply go to accounts and privacy now do you want to allow the customers to place order with uh, without an account so yes we do want to allow them allow customer to log in into an existing account during checkout yeah we want to allow them now do you want to allow customers to create an account during checkout yes do you want to allow customers to create an account on the my account page? Yes. Very important. Now when creating an account automatically generate a username from customer's email addresses, not required. Okay. We, we want the user to set up their own username when creating an account automatically generate a account password. No, we want the user to set up their own password. Okay. Now remove personal data from orders. No, we don't want to remove them because we need those data. Okay. 
Now rest everything you can see your privacy policy what you want to if you want to change some text from here you can change it now click on save changes after that go to advance and under the cart page select cart under the checkout page select checkout under my account page select my account under terms and conditions page you can select the privacy policy page which is already created okay then go at the bottom and click on save changes now let's refresh this page everything should be fine yes fine all right so we are done with the main settings woocommerce and woozone settings now let's see how we can import products from uh, amazon okay so let me do one thing from the left hand side let's click on woozone okay it is loading now there are many different options over here first is amazon configuration we can click on this you can configure your keys if you want to uh, enter your keys later on you can enter them from here okay you can see your keys are here you can enter your uh, this ids and everything later on if you want okay let's click on dashboard we have some more options now most of these are not very important option the important one are two options first one is this now there are two types of option available to import product from amazon the first one is single product uh, wherein you want you can import products one by one and the second one is bulk okay so you can import uh, products in bulk now i'll show you both the options and how you can set up those now first let's see how to import a single product now we can import a single product using a free chrome extension okay so if you want to get that extension simply click on over here direct import extension okay you'll see this thing over here and you have to download this thing okay uh, wzone direct in ex uh, import extension from here so you can open this link in a new tab now as you can see i'm getting this option add to chrome let me click on this okay i think i cannot do that so let me do one thing let me copy the title from here wzone import uh, direct import cut it from here let us search from here okay wzone direct import let's search for this here we have now click on this add to chrome button click on add extension okay it is checking okay now it is added now let's see okay now let us click on save settings now as you can see it says options updated successfully now at the top you'll see this uh, option which says authorize now very important make sure you click on this authorize button now it says website successfully added now when you click on this button as you can see this website is successfully added okay so very good now we can import products from amazon so let's open amazon.in or whatever amazon you're affiliated to and let's open some products so let me open this first product from here now as you can see when i open this product i see this option over here at the top now i can simply click on this button and it will import everything all these images the price the description the variations if available it will import everything for me i if i want i can import this into specific categories but i haven't created any categories as you can see when i hover this you get this option when you click on click on this option it asks you for import in category but we haven't created any category that's why we are not seeing anything and if you want to import any uh, specific variation like one or two you can select it from here okay so it's all up to you now what i'll do i'll simply click on over here uh, on this button as you can see now it says product was successfully added now as you can see within one second this product is added and now we can view this product on our website so let's click on this button view this product now as you can see this product is successfully added on our website okay now we have everything we have all the images we have uh, this title the price all these things in the description we have these things okay we have frequently bought together and everything is present over here so this is how easy it is to create a, to create a, or to import a product from amazon now this was the first uh, type how you can import a single product and obviously you have to be on the uh, if you want to import a single product you have to be on the product page now if i go over here and if i try to import as you can see if you want to import products please go to amazon product detail page okay so we cannot import anything from here 
we have to go to amazon product detail page like we are here on this page okay the next type is bulk import now let me show you how you can bulk import everything let's click on dashboard again now let's click on this option okay insane import mode let's click on this option now over here we can import product uh, using categories or keywords uh, and all these things for example this is some brand name i guess so let me do one thing let me copy this name and paste it over here now do you want to apply this keyword in all the categories or in specific categories okay so i am selecting all the categories you can say select specific categories like shoes and bags and here we have luggage luggage and bags let me select this luggage and bags okay now when you select those you will get some more option okay all browse nodes bags and backpacks or luggage wallets and pocket organization okay handbags and clutches so i am selecting handbags and clutches okay now you get some more option now in handbags and clutches do you want only clutches or handbags or if you want you can uh, only if you want only this much and you want to browse all you can select all if you if you want you can select specific brand name and specific manufacturer if you want to import product uh, which has maximum and minimum price you can uh, put the price over here okay if you want to import only those product which has at least 10% sale going on then you can select this or at least 20% sale going on select this and all those things okay so you you can uh, select all this option okay this is basically the import criteria what are the different criteria on that you need to import okay so i have put one category uh, one keyword i want this keyword only in this specific category and this subcategory and this subcategory and this uh, the product should be minimum of this price and maximum of this price maybe minimum of 100 and maximum of 5000 only product only uh, import these products within this price range and the product has minimum of 10 percent sale going on okay it's all up to you i want to import the first page or the first two or three pages of the result okay so i want only the first page so once you select all these things click on launch search all right now as you can see we have all the product that are on the first page now if you want you can uh, uh you can if you want you can upload or uh, install or import all the products at once or if you want to import only specific product you can tick mark that and if you don't want to uh, import other product you can untick that so suppose i want to import only the first product which i which is shown over here so i'll tick mark this rest everything i'll untick it okay obviously you're doing this to import bulk but i'm just importing one i don't want to import bulk okay so i'm i have ticked unticked everything i have only the first one tick mark over here okay so once you know and once you decide what all product you want to import you can go at the bottom number of images as i said you earlier you can change the settings now here is where you can change the settings okay number of images to install so maybe i want only the first three images okay to import number of variations all the variations or maybe few variations it's all up to you now do you want to use the categories for amazon or you want to create your own category and import them so it's all up to you so select these options and click on import products now as you can see it says product is imported and it took almost zero seconds okay so you can close this box and let's uh, from the left hand side let's click on products let's see now as you can see we have two products imported okay this is the uh, one that we imported using the uh, the extension chrome extension and this is the product that we have imported using the bulk extension okay now if you want you can go to your shop page you will see two products okay now as you can see we have two different products over here which is awesome now let's do one thing uh, similarly obviously you can import unlimited number of products and if you want to do some changes uh, for example let's open this product now if you see we have only three images because i have selected only the three images if you remember okay now if you want to do some images some changes over here you can very easily do so you can uh, click on this edit button or you can simply come to this page you have this edit product page you can open this link in a new tab and this will this page will uh, open okay 
now you have this description from here you can change the description if you want for example it says one year domestic warranty i want uh, six months domestic warranty whatever it is okay so i can change it from here it's all up to you i would uh, i don't know it's all up to you i don't i would not recommend anything if you want you can change it if you don't want that's good you have this category so here if you want to use your own categories you can untick everything and use your own category simply click on over here create new category and suppose i want to show only bags so i click on bags add new category and i can uh, select this category from here okay i can add some tags and all those things now here we, uh, we have the prices i would not recommend you to change the prices because this is synchronized with amazon so please don't change the prices that will not be that would not be a great idea okay now product short description you can change it from here your short description shows over here as you can see so you can change your product short description images and all these things okay i would not recommend you to do much changes over here only uh, i would recommend you to change few things if you want in the uh, in the description the long description at the top which you see if you want you can add some seo friendly keywords and so on but don't do a lot of changes over here okay so once you're done with changing everything simply click on update let's come over here let's refresh this page now let's uh, go at the bottom now as you can see it says six months domestic warranty instead of one year domestic warranty so this is a great thing you can do uh, some changes as well now this is how your product page is looking at present now I have, first of all here we have this thing which says as of july blah blah blue this date and that date if you don't want this if you want to remove this thing let me show you how you can do that this will be a very good tip for you you can use this trick to you know on uh, other websites that you create now whenever i want to do some changes what i can do i can select this section right click over here and click on inspect i'll give you the direct code don't worry but i'm just showing you this so once you do so you'll see these options over here now you can click on this button this plus button okay and you can type in uh oh, i think it is yeah display you type in display and then type in none now as you can see when i display i type in display and none that thing is gone now i can simply copy this code from here okay go to my website click on customize all right now when you click on that customize button you will see a screen like this go at the bottom click on custom css js and paste in that code over here now as you can see as soon as uh, as soon as i paste it uh, that thing is gone now if you want to uh, delete these things as well you can sim do the same thing select it right click over here click on inspect then you will get the same option again click on this plus button okay not this way okay this time we have to do another uh, with some let me show you okay yeah here it is we have to select this thing okay don't worry if you don't want to learn this if you simply want the code don't worry i'll give uh, all these codes in the video description below you can copy them from there okay so basically let me show you first so you select this thing you click on this plus button again you do the same uh, thing display and none now as you can see that thing is also gone now let me copy this thing from here paste it over here click on publish let's cut this thing and don't worry if you don't want to do this thing if you directly want these codes i'll give them in the video description below as i said okay now you can x this out now as you can see those messages are gone now we simply have the price uh, the selling price and the main price okay so this is how it is done i just wanted to show you guys okay if you don't want to remove them it's all up to you so this is how you import products from uh, amazon very easy very very easy to do don't have to do anything at all you don't have to know any woocommerce any coding or anything it's simple one click installation one click importing okay so this was the first section of the video wherein we do all the important settings how to import products from amazon how to set up woozone how to set up woocommerce creating pages and all those things now in the next section of this video uh, we will start designing the website because if you see this is not looking that good and if you go to your home page let's see what happens let's see what we have and this is looking very boring 
So in the next section of this video, we'll see how to design the website. Okay, so see you guys there. Welcome back guys to the next section of the video. In this section, we'll see how to design this website. Okay, so let's get started without wasting any time. So come back to your website. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's open the dashboard in a new tab. All right. Now the first thing that we have to do, we have to create a page uh, that is the home page. We'll start with home page so that we can start creating all these uh, websites and so okay so it's really easy we can uh, simply hover pages and click on add new now let's name it home and let's click on publish now let's open this page in a new tab so we can view this page in a new tab all right now we see some problems over here the first problem is that we don't want this sidebar okay so let's get rid of this sidebar so at the bottom, you'll see under Ocean WP settings, we have content layout, select full width from there and click on update. Come back to this website. Let's refresh it again. Now, as you can see, that sidebar is gone. We also see if you see, we don't have any uh, this title and all these things on the home page. So we'll have to get rid of this title and this uh, breadcrumb. Okay, so again, come back over here, select title from here and make it disable. Let's click on update. Come over here. Let's refresh it. Now, as you can see, we have a perfect page. Now we can also do one thing. We can disable margin. Okay. Come back again and under margins, disable margin. Because if you see, I, I know uh, right now we cannot see anything, but by default, there is some margin at top and bottom. So I want to disable that. Okay. Disable it. Click on update. Let's refresh it. Now, as you can see that margin is gone. Now, the only thing that we have is the header space. Okay, this space and rest everything is blank at the bottom. Now, this is the perfect situation to create the home page. Now, if you see one more thing, when we are on the home page on this website, on this website, we don't see anything like slash home. We just have the domain name and here we are on the home home page and we have this website name slash home. So we have to get rid of this thing. I okay. When I click on this, as you can see, we are redirected to some other page. I want this page to be my home page. Whenever someone clicks on over here, they should be redirected to this home page blank page at present. Okay. So we, what we can do is we can go back to our dashboard and we can hover over settings and click on readings. All right, and we can select a static page from the home page and we can select my uh, oh, sorry, we can select home. Okay, so under home page, select home, click on save changes. Okay, now let's come over here. Let's refresh. Now, as you can see, first, let's see yeah, in the URL bar, we have home. Let's refresh and see what happens. Now, as you can see, when I uh, refresh this page, that home is gone. And when I click on this, I'm still on this page. Okay. Now let's do few more settings over here. So under settings, click on general. Now you can change your site name and tagline from here as well. And make sure you tick mark this membership. Anyone can register. Okay. Very important and click on save changes. And after this under settings, we have permalinks. Click on permalinks by default day and name is selected. We want a post name. Okay. So select this thing post name and come at the bottom and click on save changes. Okay. So these are the main changes that we have to do now again, click on pages and edit home page. Here we have click on edit. Now you'll see this button over here, which says edit with Elementor. Click on this button. Now it's time to start creating the page, start designing the page using the free page builder Elementor. All right, guys. So when you click on that edit with Elementor button, you will see this screen. And now we have to use this uh, beautiful and free page builder to design the website or uh, design the home page or the complete website. Now, basically what we have is at the left hand side, you have different modules for different purposes. For example, if you want to add text, you use the text module. If you want to insert a video or the image in your website, you use these modules. Okay. So don't worry. You will understand everything easily, very easy to start. Now, the first thing that we have to do, we have to add this thing. Okay. This simple text from here. Okay. So, and we have this image in the background. So what we can do first, we click on this to get started. We click on this plus button 
to add a new section and we select the number of columns we want or the structure we want. Now here if you see we have only one single column we have nothing else if you see over here we have four columns but here at the top we have only one column so we'll select the first option only one column. Okay when you select this you will see edit section options. Now we have to edit something over here okay for what we have to do first thing we have we want this beautiful image in the background. So what we can do we can go to this option styling option first option is background so we'll select this classic we'll add an image in the background we can upload any image we want and obviously as i said you earlier you have all these images everything in the video description below you can download everything for free you will see this media and you will have all these images okay so we have the image over here let me select this image click on open click on insert media now as you can see this is how it is looking now let's do some changes over here first of all what is the position i want the position to be center center now as you can see the image has changed a bit then attachment we don't have to do anything repeat no need to do anything now size make sure to make it cover so select it cover now still it is not looking that good because of two main things first is the height is quite small we want to increase the height and make it like this and the second is uh, if you see this there is some gap from both the sides now i want this to be stretched to be full full width full size so let's do these two things again go to layout and first select this section stretch section make it yes now as you can see this is stretching uh, uh, in, in the complete website. Now after that we have to change this setting height setting. Now instead of default select minimum height okay and let's make it to 600 okay so let's type in 600 over here. Now this is looking perfect click on update let's okay now as you can see this is looking perfect. Now once we have this we can click on this icon over here. And we have so many different modules over here. Now we can use these modules for different purposes. For example, if you if I want to add this thing, if I want to add this text, I use the text module. If I want to add some Google map over here, I will use the Google map module and so on. So it is really easy. You don't need to know much about it. You when I start creating the website, when I start designing it, you will understand everything in much detail. Okay. So first let's add this text spring slash summer collection. So I'll drag this text section over here and bring it over here. Now as you can see by default it says add your heading text here and the default color is blue and we have some style. We have to change, change this styling and everything from here. First let's change the text and let's put in my text spring slash summer collection. Now let's go to style to change the uh, style and everything. Now we have to change the color first. Now let me go give you a very simple uh, trick that will really help you. Now if I want to know the color of this text or color of everything on any website, I simply select that, right click over there and click on inspect. Now as you can see at the bottom right, I get the color code. I can simply copy this color code from here, come back to my website. Now select this color. I can obviously change the color from here. You can see the changes live on the website. I can change it from here. But if I want the exact same color, I can paste in that color code. Okay. So we have the color. Now let's change this style. So typography, uh, edit this section. First, let's change the font family to Montserrat. All right. Let's increase this size to maybe something like this. 43 is looking better and let's make it a little bit thinner so let me make it 400 width looking perfect okay so with this we have our first uh, text now let's click on update now let me show you how you can save some time now if you see over here most of the things are same uh, in fact all the style over here is same all the three fonts are Montserrat so what I'll do is instead of adding all, all the thing uh, from scratch I'll simply duplicate this thing so i'll click on over here in fact i'll right click over here and click on duplicate now as you can see we have a duplicate of that one now let's change the text first it says new arrivals okay so let me type in new arrivals and let's change this style so go to style typography let's increase the style 
uh, size to maybe something like 75, 76 or I think 76 is looking better. Okay. So I am putting it to around 76, 77. It's all up to you. And as you can see, this is quite bolder. So let me increase the weight to 700 looking perfect. Okay. Exactly like the demo website. All right. Now, after this, we have one more text, which is this one, 25% per, sale. So again, I'll do the same thing. I'll uh, hover here, uh, right click on this blue pencil button and duplicate it. Now, instead of new arrivals, I'll type in 25% per sale. Again, go to style. First, I'll change the color to white. Okay, like this. Then I'll go to typography, increase the size a bit more to maybe around 90, 91 pixels. Uh, okay and i'll increase the weight to 900 okay looking exactly like the demo website so once you're done doing this you can simply click on update and if you want to see the changes that you're making you can click on this i button this preview changes button and you will see a new tab and you can see the changes over here okay looking beautiful now let's add this button over here this click here button beautiful and simple button very easy to do so let's add that. So come again over here on this page, click on this uh, link from here, this icon. And now because we want to add a button, we'll use this button module, we'll drag at the bottom. Okay. So this is the default style. We'll have to change everything. First is we have to change the text. Okay. We don't have to change the text here. The text says click here. Here also it says click here, but we want everything uppercase. Okay. So let's click on this style. Let's see everything step by step. First, we have to change the typography. So click on this plus button, this pencil button. Let's change the font family to Montserrat for this one as well. Okay. And uh, let me do one thing. Let me transform it into uppercase. Okay. All the letters should be capital. After that, if you see this style is quite different here in the demo website, we don't have any background to the uh, button. The button background is backgroundless. And we have a very thin border color, white border color. And when I hover this button, you can see the background color becomes white and the text color and the border color becomes black. So let's see how we can do that. So come back to this page and let's select this one. Okay. Text color. So text color is white. So we don't have to do any change background color. Let's select this. Let's make it transparent. So you, if you want to make it transparent, you drag this second one at the bottom. Okay. Simple. Okay. This is for typography. Yeah. This one. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. You can say first you have to select some different color and then you have, you can drag this thing at the bottom. It will make it transparent. Now border type select solid and width make it one pixel. Okay. It's just like this. Now this is looking better, but when we hover this, as you can see, the color changes and we also have a simple animation. Okay. So let's do that. Now, if you want, now, if you see over here, when we hover this button, nothing happens. So let's change the hover effect. So select hover. Let's change the text color to black, the background color to white, uh, the border color to black. Okay. Let's see. Now, as you can see, text color, black background, border color, black background color, white, but we don't have any animation. So let's add an animation and let's add this grow animation. Okay. Or you can add this grow rotate. Let's see. Now, as you can see, looking awesome. Okay. So you can add this animation. And if you want to redirect this button to some page, you can go back to content and you can under this link, you have to paste in that link of the page. Okay. It's all up to you. Once you're done, click on update. And this page will automatically load as you can see. And this is how your website is looking at present. I think this is looking amazing. Okay. Now let's start uh, creating this section. And as you can see, it is really easy to create these different sections. Very, very easy. Okay. Okay. So let's create this second section again. Very easy to do. So again, come back over here. Now again, uh, click on this pencil button. Now bring this text section at the bottom or maybe what we can do because here we have two different styles. First, as you can see, the first style is that this is bold and the second style, this is quite thin. 
so instead of uh, just adding this heading i'll add these two columns okay at the bottom okay just like this so once i have these two columns in the first column i'll add this text okay and i'll change the text to free shipping okay let me add this free shipping over here as you can see it says free shipping and i'll make it right align okay as you can see the alignment is right side and you'll understand why because if you see over here everything is in center and here we have two different columns so first column will be towards right and second column towards left so everything will be uh, center aligned okay now let's go to style let's change the color to white okay now when we do so obviously everything disappears so what we can do first we can click on update let's update it and let's change the background color of this section to black so that we can see everything perfectly so hover this and you have this thing at the top edit section as you can see when i hover this it says edit section click on that first stretch this section okay stretch it go to style select background background color make it black now as you can see we can see everything perfectly now again click on this text and let's do the changes go to style Let's change the typography. Let's change the font family to Montserrat M O N T S E R R A T. Okay. Let's increase the size to maybe I think 42, 40, 42, whatever you like. I'm putting 40 over here. Let's increase the weight to 700 because this is quite bolder as you can see. So this is 40 and 700 and rest everything is looking fine. Now what I'll do is I'll simply right click over here click on copy come to this section right click over here and paste it as you can see everything is so easy now i want this one to be left aligned so i'll select left align and i want to change the text to for orders over hundred dollars okay so i'll type in for orders over hundred dollars and i want to change this style okay so i'll go to style typography let's in decrease the weight to 400 and this is looking perfect now if you see like this this uh, let's drag this thing a little bit left side so that it looks perfect center okay so we can do it easily like this okay click on update now this page will automatically load now as you can see everything is looking so good okay if you if you see over here we have some space at top and bottom so you can add those space as well okay so let's see what we have next after that we have this next section we have a title subtitle and four different categories okay very easy to do again very very easy okay so come back again over here first click on this link now let's add a heading drag it over here okay let's change the heading to new design trends okay let's change it to news design trends and let's make it center aligned because here in the demo website it is aligned at the center okay now let's change this style so go to style the color is dark gray you have some predefined color at the bottom so select the second one that is the dark gray color now typography this time i have used a different font which is railway font okay so you can type in r a l e w a y railway let's increase the size to maybe 40 pixels and let's make it a bit bolder 900 okay this is looking exactly like the demo website now let's add this subtitle copy it from here again click on this link let's add another text below this one paste it over here let's make everything center line go to style let's make it uh, light gray color the third predefined color from here okay let's go to typography let's change the weight to 300 okay now looking exactly like this one we don't have to do any more changes over here just one thing if you see at the top of this uh, uh of this thing at the title and bottom we have some gap so let's add that gap at top and bottom so what you can do you can hover this and click on this edit section again now go to advance and we have padding now if you see over here it is linked so if you type a uh, 10 pixels padding top everything will will become 10 let me show you when i put 10 as you can see everything becomes 10 so first let me put 0 now we can delink this so click on this it will delink this 
Now we need to add only padding at top and bottom or you can add margin at top and bottom. So let's use margin over here. Top margin, let's put 70. And as you can see, when I put 70, here also bottom also becomes 70. Now I want to change the bottom margin. So I will delink this. I'll click on this and I'll make bottom as 40, uh, 50 maybe. Okay, type 50. So the uh, in this uh, section, the top margin will be 70 and the bottom margin will be 50. Let's click on update. Let's see how this page looks. Okay, so this is how is this page is looking beautiful. And after this, we have this section. Okay, this beautiful section. Let's see how we can add this. Come back to this page. Click on this thing and uh, let me show you what we can use. Let us scroll down. I think we have to use this one. Okay, under premium add-ons, you will see this one. Premium banner. Okay, you can drag it and drop it over here. Okay, this is how it will look. So let me do one thing. Okay, let me uh, right click over here and click on add new column because we have four different columns. Again, do the same four times. Okay, so we have four different columns just like the demo website. Okay, one, two, three, four columns. In the four, first column, we have this jacket image and we have this text which says jackets. Okay, so let me do, uh, let me show you how you can do that. Click on the first column, change the image or choose an image. So let me upload that image. Okay, that jackets image. Let me find that image. Okay. Here it is. Let's use this image. Click on open. Insert media. We have this image over here. And in the effect, we have different effects. So I have used the effect one in the demo website. So let it be effect one. Now, if you see, we have some title and subtitle. Now we don't want the subtitle. So click on content and delete everything from here. Okay. We just want the title and in the title, instead of premium banners, let's type in jackets or whatever your product is and let's make it center align. So we have this at the bottom center align. Let's make it center align. Now let's change the style. So go to style, title, let's change the typography and let's make it Montserrat first, Montserrat, okay. And let's increase the size to maybe 38, 39 would be fine. I'm putting 38 and let's make it 700. Let's change the color to white. Okay, so here we have the color, let's make it white. Now uh, by default, we cannot put this background like you can see the background which I have put this black background. We cannot do it uh, in this way. Okay, I'll show you how we can do it. Okay, first let me add one more thing. Go to typography. Let's increase the line height to 2. Okay, so make the line height 2. Okay, now click on update. Let us let this page reload. Now, once this page reloads, as you can see, most of the things are looking fine. We just don't have that thing in the background, that black color in the background. Now, again, it is very easy to do. I'll again show you how you can do that. So I right click over here, click on inspect. Now, again, you don't have to do that. I'll simply give the code, but I'm just showing you for those of you guys who want to learn how this thing is done. I'll, I'm just showing you guys. Okay. So you can simply uh, click over here, select this. Click on this plus button. Okay. And select background color. Okay. Not backgrounds, background color. Let me do again. Here we have background color and you can type any color. So I'm typing black. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have this thing over here and this is looking beautiful. So again, I can copy this thing from here. Go to my website or let's edit this same page. Okay, let me delete this from here. Click on customize. Now let's see uh, at present. This is how it is looking. Now again, go at the bottom, click on custom CSS and this time paste in this code. Now, as you can see, as soon as we paste it, the effect has started. Okay, so let's click on publish. Let's cut this thing. Now, as you can see, this thing is applied over here. So this is how it is done. And don't worry, you don't have to do all this inspect element. I'll simply give you that code. You can copy it. Okay. That code will be present under this video description. Okay. Now, similarly, you can create all those different, uh, columns. So, or what you can do, you can copy this. Okay. Right click over here. Click on copy. Now, right click over here. Click on paste, paste and paste. 
now you just have to change the style okay so select the second one change the image to bags and title to bags okay so let's upload the bags image here it is open this insert media let's change the content let's change the title to bags okay select the third one and it is uh, sunglasses and we have style change the image okay very easy select this click on open insert media and in the content it says style fine just like this okay now the fourth one is a uh, shirts so let's upload the shirts image this one click on open insert media and let's change the content title to shirts click on update let's re uh, view this page in a new tab so click on preview changes let's see now as you can see everything is looking perfect okay so this is how it is done now after this we have some gap at the bottom so what we can do is we can select this section now edit section go to advance first dealing this and at the bottom let's add maybe 50 uh, pixels padding or uh, margin now click on update let's see okay now we have a decent amount of gap at the bottom now after this we have to add this section a very very beautiful section okay so very easy to do again come back to this page first let's add some columns so i'll drag these columns over here i'll right click over here click on add new column so we have three do the same thing add new column so we have four columns now okay in the first column we have this thing in all the columns we have the same thing used so we have a icon a title and subtitle so to add this thing we use the icon module okay this one icon box module drag this module under the first column okay as you can see this is the default thing first thing is the icon we have the truck icon so let's change the icon to truck fine let's change the heading to free shipping okay change the heading to free shipping and let's change the content instead of this let's put in our own content over here now let's change the style okay so the uh, go to style first thing is the icon okay so the icon color is white fine now we have content so open content first we have the title so title color will also be white let's make it white okay we cannot see anything so first let's do one thing let's click on update let's change the background color just like this okay so that we can see the changes so if you want to do changes to the column you click on this okay columns okay you have this thing at, as you can see this gray color option you click on this you will see this edit column option now go to style change the background and select a color let me select some color i think we have used this color i guess some darker shade like this okay something yeah we have used something like this okay so you can use this thing and let now we can see everything properly okay now again we can click on this go to style go to content now we have the title so let's change the title typography let's change the font to Montserrat okay size to 19 pixels and uh, weight to 700 for the title okay then we have the description over here again change the color to white and let's change the font size to 16 pixels okay looking better click on update now if you see let's see how it looks okay so this is how it is looking now we need to do some more changes over here we need to add uh, we need to make it full width as you can see this is also full width section so we can do it easily we know first select this edit section the top section make it stretch section and this time also select this thing in the content width select full width okay so two things we have to do now again how over here you'll see another section inside this section okay just follow my steps okay we have done with this section now when you hover this you see this section click on this do the same thing full width and uh, column gap we don't want any gap so we can just type in no now let's click on update let's uh, let us let this page reload 
okay we okay we still have some gap so what we can do i think in the first one i didn't selected the column gap so again select the top edit section and here it is column gap let's make it no gap again click on update let's see again okay this is looking better now this is a full width section but when we do full width we see one problem over here all the thing is touching the corners the this icon is touching the top this text is touching both the sides and this is touching the bottom so we need some gap from all the four sides okay so let's do that so click on this icon box go to advance and in the padding type in 50 pixels from all sides okay click on update let's see how it looks now okay this is looking exactly like the demo website so this is fine okay so let me uh, cut this thing now let's copy this from here right click over here click on copy right click paste right click paste right click paste now obviously you cannot see anything because we have uh, we don't have any background color so select the second column click on over here edit column go to style let's change the color to black so let's select this background type classic color let's select black so we have the black color select the third column go to style and we have this blue color so select this background type color blue and select the fourth column we have this beautiful color over here go to style background color type and uh, and let let us see okay this beautiful color now let's change this thing okay for the second one click on this uh, click on over here just click on this icon box the we have the tags uh, icon and it says guarantee service so let's change the icon to tags okay here you have and let's change the text text to guarantee service or whatever it is okay now we can click on update and similarly you can change these things as well okay i don't want to waste my time and your time showing the same changes and same thing again and again now let's see the changes now as you can see everything is looking perfect now after this we have this uh, title subtitle again now what we can do because we have already created a title subtitle i'll simply uh, right click on this section and click on copy come over here and paste it now as you can see we have everything just like this we simply we have all the gap top and bottom all the design and everything we simply have to change the title which says newcomers okay so let's change uh, this new trends into newcomers okay done click on update now as you can see everything is so simple and really fun to do you really enjoy when you're doing this thing okay really awesome stuff now after this we have some recent products okay or whatever products you want to show so i am showing recent products so what i'll do i'll click on over here scroll down and go under i guess we have over here at the top we have the wordpress section if you have this thing click on over here you will see all the wordpress thing now here we will have woo recent products okay woo recent products drag it and drop it over here now number of products to show number of columns to show okay so i have four four thing over here and if you see here it says new in okay i don't want to show this new in over here so i'll go to title and type a space okay now that new in is gone click on update and obviously because we have only two things because we have created only two products if you have more it will show more now let's see how it is looking okay perfect looking really awesome now after this we have this section let's see how we can create this section again very very easy to do simply let's see what we have okay we have the title subtitle again and then we have these things okay uh, we have this icon box i guess or scroller okay we'll see what that is first thing is we have to copy this thing okay so copy this okay paste it over here and the icon it this time it says our brands so let's type in our brands over here fine now what we have to do is we have to add this thing so i think it is called let me show you all right i think it is called yeah it is image carousel 
so bring it uh, below this thing okay bring it below over here now we have to add all the images that we want to show so click on add images upload files select files and select all the images that you want to show okay so i'm selecting all these images fine click on open and here we have one two three four five six seven eight images showing at one time all right so let it load everything so once everything is uploaded click on create a new gallery insert gallery now as you can see all the images are showing now the first thing that we have to do is we have to change everything okay so first slides to scroll slides to show so change these slides to show to eight because we want to show eight over here now again this section is also a full width section as you can see so let's make it full width select this thing edit section make it full width and also change the content width to full width okay and also we have something over here the background color is quite different it is light gray and we have some gap at top and bottom so let's do that go to style background color background color let's change this to i think uh, e8 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 is looking better and let's add some gap at top and bottom so go to advance and uh, let's add some padding this time okay so padding let's add 70 pixels and bottom padding 50 pixels okay as you can see the changes over here click on update so with this we have this section as well now the last section we have the title and we have some post now before showing this post we have to create some post so let me show you how we can do that come back to this website in fact come back to your dashboard okay so let's open this dashboard in a new tab all right so if you want to create a new post what you can do you can hover post and click on add new and you can put in the title okay so the post title will come here whatever title uh, you have so it will come over here and here the content will come whatever the content is so i don't have any content at present so let me go to lorimipsim.com or lipsim.com okay just to get some okay the spelling is wrong just to get some dummy content okay so i go to lipsim.com and uh, generate some lorem ipsum text let me copy this much and paste it over here so you have the title over here and your content over here now you can add some text over here you can add some uh, hyperlinks some links to amazon as well okay you can add some products you have this woozone thing over here you can add this product you can simply select this and click on add products and you will see your amazon product will show up over here okay now let me show okay let us bring it over here let's publish this post now this is incomplete obviously but i'm just publishing it let's view this post in a new tab okay now as you can see you have this amazon product over here so basically in an amazon affiliate website what you can do is you can write post about different products that you sell on your website so that that post will be ranked on google and you can uh, people will come to your website for example you can write a review of this uh, bag of whatever it is and you can write something about this and you can add this product in the middle so that whenever someone wants to purchase this they have this option over here they have this uh, images option they can simply click on this buy from amazon button and they will be redirected over here and if you see over here at the top your tag is given okay tag is equal to my tag is given over here which say which uh, you know which gives us uh, which says that you know your work your website is working and all these changes and settings that we have done related to woozone is working okay so this is how you can create different posts and you can use different uh, options like this to generate some more sales now let's come over here let's complete this thing so we can add a category now these categories are different the er earlier what we have created those were product categories and this is post categories okay so maybe this comes under bags okay so i'll just type in bags okay click on add new category and as i said you earlier again this is different and that is different and if you want full width if you want to remove this from the sidebar you can select content layout full width from here you can add a featured image and that featured image when it will be shown over here as you can see this image okay so let's add a featured image click on set featured image 
upload file select files let's select this one click on open click on set featured image let's click on update let's come back over here let's refresh this page a uh, page now as you can see we have the featured Im image at the top we have this post in the middle and we don't have any sidebar okay so this is how a post is created uh, you can do some research on how to create a very powerful post that is a very attractive uh, seo friendly post okay you will see some videos or some articles you can uh, read those okay but this is how it is done this is the basic structure this is basically how you can create a post okay now once we have a post let's refresh this page so that we can add this post now on our website all right so let's scroll down and what we need is after this section we again have this title subtitle so let me do one thing let me copy a okay let me copy it from here and if you see something like this don't worry this is uh, showing in elementor but on live website you'll see everything perfectly so let me copy this from here this title come at the bottom let's paste it over here let's change it to new design trends okay so let's make it new design trends and after that we have uh, we have this post showing up over here okay so we have created one post which means we, it should show okay so come back over here and let's search for this one essential add-ons for elementor the first one is ea post grid bring this thing over here now as you can see it is showing your post the hello world is automatically created and this is the post that we have created just now okay so this is how you create your home page let's click on update okay so with this we have simply completed our home page okay very very easy and beautiful home page now we can see uh, let's see how this looks so we can simply go to our home page let's see how it looks okay so this is our home page okay we have two products we have all these things and obviously you can add animation to these things as well i forgot to show you that like in demo website let me refresh this website so you so that you can see the animation okay you can see the animations like this so you can add this animation as well you can add them to all these uh, all these things okay not only to text you can add them to uh, different columns different sections and uh, so on suppose i want to add animation to this text i click on this text go to advance and i have this entrance animation so suppose i want this to zoom in from left so i select zoom in from left now as you can see then i select this text i select uh, maybe okay fade in right okay this is how it is button i select uh, animation or uh, maybe let's see bouncing up okay let's click on update come back to this page let's refresh it now as you can see all these animations okay so this is how it is done so we are done with the home page let's see what we have next okay let's let's start creating the menus okay we have the menu over here we have this mega menu and we have all these things and let's see how we can put our own logo over here okay so let me cut this thing now now let's first create a menu so to create a new menu how about this and you'll see this menus open this in a new tab now when you're on the dashboard at the left hand side you'll see appearances under appearances or uh, you can click on menus you will come to the same place okay so let's give a name to this menu and click on create menu and let's see what we have we have the home page we have all products track your order wish list my account shop now okay so we have home shop my account checkout uh, or maybe wish list click on add to menu okay so shop now is at the bottom and instead of shop it says shop now so let me type in shop now okay and we have one more page all products okay this is not a page it's just a simple link now whenever you're creating a menu for the main section for this section make sure to tick mark this main okay click on save first let's see whether this is working let's refresh this page now as you can see the menu is showing up over here which means this is working so we can work uh, further okay so the first thing what i want to do is i want to convert this shop now this simple shop now link into a button so it is very easy go open the shop now and uh, 
you'll see a CSS link which we don't see over here. So what we can do, go at the top, you'll see this option, screen options, open this and select this, tick mark this, CSS classes, okay? Tick mark this, now again come over here, now you'll see your new option, CSS classes. Under this, type in BTN, short form for button, BTN, click on save menu. Come over here, let's refresh it. Now as you can see that thing is now converted into a button so easily so simply okay now let's see how we can create this mega menu so first i'll click uh, click on this custom links and i'll type in all products okay click on add to menu i'll bring it at the top just after home and under this if you see we have one two three four five columns and under each column we have different options okay so let me show you how we can do that so first let's enable my mega menu so under all products i'll open this expand this and i'll enable mega menu and number of columns i want so i want five mega menu columns okay and let's add the first column okay so maybe in the first column we want to show all the bags i'll type in bags okay see this is for the first column I'll type, I'll bring it under all products. Maybe in the second column, I want to show all the shirts. Okay, I'll type the shirts over here and in the URL, I'll type in hashtag. Click on add to menu. Again, bring it over all, all products. In the third column, maybe I want to show all the shoes. Okay, shoes category. Then in the fourth column, I want to show all the sunglasses not sunglasses okay fine sunglasses okay click on add to menu and in the fifth column i have this uh, image as you can see so i will not do anything i'll simply uh, type in hashtag and i'll type in column five okay i don't want anything over there now bring it over here let's save this menu let's refresh it and see the changes now, as you can see, we have all product when I hover this, as you can see, it is already created into a mega menu. We have one, two, three different four, five columns. Okay. Let's add some uh, more options under bags. So let me do it very quickly. Custom links, put a hashtag over here. And obviously you don't have to put hashtag over here. If you have some category, then you have to put in the category link over here. Okay. Now let me show you how you can ca get the category link. How our products you will see the categories open these categories over here okay so you have this bags link suppose you want this link so what you do you you have this uh, view link you right click on the view copy link address come over here and paste in this link obviously okay so i am doing for tutorial purposes that's why i am putting that hashtag but you have to put in the category link okay whatever it is now link text maybe a school bag or whatever okay so i'll type in school bags click on add to menu and the second one let's type in nylon bags okay it doesn't make any sense but still third one maybe jeans bags okay fourth one maybe i don't know just bags and fifth one i'll type in pu bags i don't know why but pu leather not leather pu bags okay now let's bring all these things under bags okay so i'll bring everything under bags nylon bags jeans bags all those bags okay fine just awesome so you'll see all products under all products we have bags under bags we have all these options click on save menu come over here let's refresh it Okay, so we have all products under all products products. We have bags and under bags. We have all these options now Similarly, you can add under shirts shoes and sunglasses now I am not doing that because you already uh, have seen how you can add under bags So similarly you can add under shirts sho shoes and sunglasses because that's just the same process. Okay Now I'll show you how to add this image Okay, because this is something different how to add this image in the fifth column so again, come back to your dashboard. Now hover appearances and click on widgets. Now you'll see this option over here. Click on this, create a new sidebar. 
you can name it anything you want so i'm naming it column 5 or maybe menu column 5 so that i know what this uh, sidebar is useful for click on create sidebar now sometimes this happens it will just keep on loading forever and it will not redirect you anywhere so if this thing happens with you what you can do you can simply reload this page okay let me show you now as you can see menu column 5 is selected or and created now you have to bring image or uh, thing over here image widget under here so let us search for image widget here it is image select this make sure mega uh, menu column or whatever you have created is selected click on add widget okay here it is under um, the one sidebar that you have select created we have this image let's upload a new image in fact let's upload the same image here it is click on this click on open click on add to widget save it come back to again come back to uh, menu so under appearances you will see menus click on menus now select this one column 5 and uh, just expand this thing and mega menu widget area select that and select the widget area that you have created mega uh, I have created this one menu column 5 select this click on save menu now come back over here let's refresh this page now let me hover this now as you can see this thing is showing now there is one problem again I see this column 5 at the top that is the title now I want to hide that title now as you can see in the demo website you don't have any title at the top so I want to hide that title so very easy come over here again select this column 5 now in the CSS type in hide hyphen heading okay hide hyphen heading simple makes sense common sense click on save menu come over here let's refresh it now as you can see that title is gone and this is looking amazing okay so with this we have also completed this thing now let's see how we can add our icon our logo over here and let's do some changes uh, to the menu as you can see here the menu is quite bigger the font and everything is quite bigger here it is quite smaller so you can do this as well click on customize alright so first let's change this logo so what you can do in the customize you'll see header option click on header and select logo now you can select any logo to upload so let's click on select logo click on upload files upload select files and select this logo click on open click on select just skip, uh, skip cropping and your logo should so, uh, show up over here let's see all right now as you can see your logo over here you can click on publish now let's change all these things okay so come back over here and select uh, again come back and uh, click on typography now select main menu let's change the font family to Montserrat okay now as you can see the fonts have changed let's uh, increase the weight and let's make it semi bold again done let's increase the font size to maybe 15 pixels now as you can see done as well okay you can add do some more changes from here it's, if you want click on publish come back again come back and go to footer bottom you have this footer bottom select this come at the bottom you'll see this copyright text over here copyright 2018 ocean wp now i want to remove this ocean wp theme by nick and i want to put it uh, my name okay maybe theme by Naya shake or whatever you want okay all all right reserved by your website name okay it's all up to you just publish it and you can simply cut this thing okay so with this we have also done this thing and let's see what we have in the shop page click on shop now page now this is our shop page and we have some we have to do some changes over here because if you see the shop page in the demo website it is quite good okay we have the filter by price follow us uh, the right side is same we have the same products showing by the left hand side we have the uh, some awesome stuff okay some awesome widgets so let's delete all this regular recent post recent comments and add these things filter by price product categories and so on okay so let's do that 
So again, come back to your website, okay, to your dashboard and click on widgets. Now here you will see at the bottom WooCommerce sidebar. Okay. So we have to drag whatever we want, whatever widget we want, we have to drag under WooCommerce sidebar. So the first widget that we want is filter by price. So come over here. Let's search for filter by price. Here we have filter product by price. So click on this and select WooCommerce sidebar. Click on add widget and that's it. Let's click. Let's come over here. Let's refresh this page. Now, as you can see, just by doing that, you have this widget over here, which is awesome. Now, after this, we have this uh, social icons. Okay. Follow us social icons. So here at the top, you'll see this one. Okay. Social icons. Select this. Make sure WooCommerce sidebar is selected. Click on add widget. Now here you have to put in all your social links. Okay. So I'm just typing in this hashtag every time so that I don't have to put my links because it will take a lot of time uh, copying and pasting all my links. Okay. So you can po paste any amount of links over here. Click on save. Come back again. Let's refresh it. Okay. As you can see, it is also showing. Then after that, we have product categories. So come back to this widget. Let's search for product categories. Here it is product categories. Click on add widget. Let me first, okay. Let me first minimize this. Yeah, we have product categories. Now I don't want to show the hierarchy. I want to show the product count. For example, if you see in the demo website, it says four product, zero product, the product count. Okay. So I want to show this product counts. So I'll tick mark this, click on save. Let's refresh this page. Let's see. Okay. So this is also showing. And the last thing is top rated products. Okay. So I think for this, we have products or not filter product by rating, I guess. Let me search. Yeah, here it is filter products by rating. Select this, click on add widget and done. Let's come over here. Let's refresh it. Okay. Because I think we had, we don't have any uh, products that are rated. That's why it is not showing, I guess. I think that is the reason. Okay. You can change the title to top rated product if you want. Okay. Top rated products. Click on save. Come over here. Let's refresh. Okay. So I think that is the reason. Let, let me rate one product. Let's see what, uh, whether that happens. Let's go to review. Let's rate it five star. Click on submit. Okay. There is an error. We have to type in the comment five star good product. Fine. Click on submit. Okay. It is still not showing, which is, uh, which means there is some problem. Okay. Guys, I think this was not the widget. Let's see. Let's delete this one and let's, uh, include this one products by rating. Click on add widget and number. I think, yeah, this was the one. Let's see. Let's refresh this. Okay. So this was the one. Okay. It is products by rating. Okay. So with this, we have all, we also have completed this one, uh, the shop page shop, how you can display the shop page and different, uh, sidebar for this one. Okay. Now let's do the final thing, which is to change the footer widgets. We have some widgets used in the footer. Let's add these widgets. Okay. So again, in the same page under the footer one, what we'll do first one is we have the contact informations. So we'll select this widget, the second one, contact info, select this, select footer one, click on add widget. Now we have to select and change your text from here, whatever. Okay. So I'm changing this text. I'm deleting this, this text. You, you don't have to do anything under icon class, just change the title and content. Okay. So address change your, change, not even the title, just change the content. Okay. Your address content phone number, your phone number content. If you don't want to display the mobile number, you can delete it from here. Okay. Delete everything. If you don't want to display the facts, you can delete whatever you want. Okay. If you want to display email, fine website, fine. Again, if you don't want to display Skype, you can delete it. Click on save changes. Let's refresh this page. Now, as you can see, we have the contact thing showing next thing is recent post. So again, come back over here and at the top we should have, let's see here we have recent post. Let me first uh, minimize this, select recent post. 
this time select footer 2 click on add widget number of recent post to show 3 okay minimize this come over here let's refresh it okay we have only one that's why it is showing one then after that we have some quick links or useful links whatever you call it so i think it is added using custom menu i guess a custom links okay select custom links select footer 3 click on add widget okay so by default you have this useful link tags and number of links to show so maybe i want to show four links first url is hashtag and text is women as you can see url hashtag text women then we have men brand a to z a to z latest fashion arrivals let's use all these things okay second one men third one brand a to z fourth one latest fashion arrivals click on save come over here let's refresh this page okay so we have these things and the last one we have the same thing social icons so we have this social icons over here i guess let's see here we have social icons select the footer four and you can again put in your social icons okay so i'm just putting hashtag again for all these social sites let me put hashtag 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 okay click on save come over here let's refresh all right so we have this social icons as well so this is how you create uh, your website now there are more things that you can do for example you can create different pages like about us and contact us page so for that i would recommend you to watch some other video because you know the main thing we have covered now those things you can see different videos on my channel you can go to youtube and type in nayar shake uh, elementor okay you can type in my name slash elementor and you can see uh, some latest video on elementor for example this is nine months ago this is one week ago how to create a e-commerce website this is three months ago so you can watch this one okay how to make a website for free theme and all those things here i have shown how to create about us and contact us pages i have also provided the free layouts okay so this video will be very useful you can see the uh, the uh, thumbnail over here you can see the image over here you can uh, decide whether you want to watch this or not okay so i think this video will be very helpful i'll try to give a link to this video in the video description below watch this you can create your about us and contact us page i didn't want it to include that because that would make this video quite long one okay so it would increase this video to three four hours video so i didn't want to do that you can watch this it's really easy to do okay all right guys so i think this is it for this tutorial if you have any doubt any queries any suggestion comments for me you can leave them in the comment section below okay thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon